You know, if you ask four or five different professionals how they install their axles into their carts, you'll probably get three or four different answers at least. A lot of racers will want to actually slip one side of the axle, as they call it. They want to pin one side or fasten one side and let the other side move. Now, some racers will want the left side to float. Some racers will want the right side to float. But for me, I don't want either side to float. I want both sides properly installed and properly pinned to the axle. I want both bearings hooked to the axle. Because if one bearing is not hooked to the axle and it's allowing the axle to slip through it, then that puts all of your lateral load on the other bearing. So it doubles the amount of lateral load that that bearing is seeing, which will, be, I mean, which will cause the bearing to fail premature. It will cause the bearing to see extra drag. It will cause a lack of performance in my book. Now, each chassis that we ship out is not drilled, is not pinned, because we have a lot of different customers that want to do it different ways. And a lot of people don't want holes drilled in their axles before we send them out. But I'm going to take a few minutes and I'm going to show you how I put my axles in every cart that I run personally. Okay, what we have here is one of our new Icon Elite Editions. This cart has the ceramic bearings with the bearing shields and also a set of axle locks already installed. So no matter which, so no matter which chest you get, whether it's a standard, a Champions, or an Elite, um, it will have different equipment on the back. But I'm going to walk you through right quick on how we install each of our chassis. Um, on the left side, I always put a pin through the bearing into the axle. Uh, and what that does is that makes the, the, the left rear solid without putting any axle collars on it. This is a real simple process. All I do to mine is I simply pin the left rear bearing to the axle. And when I say pin, that's exactly what I do. I use a pin or a set screw that's turned down into, I mean, to become a pin. I just drill a hole in the axle. The set screws that, that come in the bearings from the factory will be set screwed to the outside. It'll leave a little mark in the axle. I just drill a hole through right there. And with mine, I use a 1364th. Some people will actually drill a quarter inch hole and put a bolt all the way through it. Some will thread it, however you choose to do it. But just put a pin through one of the set screws that will actually go into the axle and we'll pin it in place so you don't have to use any axle collar. Now you're probably asking yourself, why don't you pin the right and the left? The answer is simple. If you pin the right side, it doesn't allow you to properly align the axle. So that gets into the last, uh, I mean, into the last step. I use two axle collars on the right side. That way I can I can adjust for any change in frame width or, or anything that may happen to the cart. Um, you can move the axle collars to accommodate it. If you had a hole in it and something was off, say you drilled a hole in the wrong place. Okay, now you can't adjust for it. So what I do is I pin the left, I put two axle collars securely against the bearings on each side of the bearing. I sandwich the bearing with two collars, tighten them down securely so there's no play in the axle, but yet you want to make sure that your axle rolls freely. And one thing you want to check from time to time, if you come in and your axle is tight, you'll find that one of your axle collars may have slipped just a little bit and it's got your card in a bind. So then you just readjust it to like we just told you, make sure that it's tight, but yet it spins, and you're good to go.